Luka Doncic is turning into a superstar in front of our very eyes, and the entire league can't help but notice the amazing things he's doing. This is why we thought it'd be interesting to show you what other NBA players and legends think of the Mavs guard. Number 10. LeBron James Ever since coming into the league, Luka Doncic has made it very clear who his favorite NBA player is, and that's none other than LeBron James, who he loved watching as a kid and modeled much of his game after. The two quickly formed a friendship and now LeBron has become a big Luka Doncic fan. How the tables have turned. The King has talked about the young Slovenian on many of his interviews and media appearances, and has had nothing but great things to say about him both on and off the court. His favorite part about Luka's game is how he's a team-first player who always tries to get his teammates involved, but can also score with ease, which is very similar to what LeBron does on the floor. In fact, James was so keen of Luka that he even thought about making him the first Team LeBron athlete with Nike. But unfortunately, the company was not very fond of the idea and Luka ended up signing with Jordan. Despite this, it's fair to say that LeBron is definitely on board the Luka hype train. Number 9. Stephen Curry LeBron isn't the only superstar in the NBA right now who's a big Luka fan, as that's also the case with Stephen Curry. In fact, Steph is one of the first two NBA players that Luka got to interact with, after his agent scheduled a workout with the two-time MVP prior to the 2018 NBA draft. Steph was impressed with Luka on the workout, and was not surprised at all when he started tearing up the league in just his first season. Stefan thinks that Doncic plays the game with a level of composure and confidence that's extremely unusual for a player of his age, and that he's already figured out exactly who he is as a player, which allows him to do all the incredible things that he's been doing. He then added that this is very exciting for the future of the league, as it has a young superstar that has the potential to become one of the greatest ever. Steph was also one of the first to go to Twitter to congratulate Luka on his game winner against the Clippers in the playoffs, calling his shot ridiculous. Number 8. Nikola Jokic Considering that both Nikola and Luka come from the Balkans and can both speak Serbian, it's no wonder that the two developed a close friendship despite being fierce competitors in the Western Conference. The two like to have fun with each other, so hearing one of them say nice things about the other is quite rare, but the mutual respect, at least when it comes to basketball, is very evident. On one occasion, the Joker even complimented Luka, saying that he's already an amazing player and extremely talented, but that he also has extreme potential, meaning that there's no ceiling to how good he can eventually become. Their relationship has left fans wondering how good of a pairing the two can be if they were playing on the same team, and we must admit that the sheer thought of that sounds very exciting. Number 7. Shaquille O'Neal it seems like in recent years, and especially since the start of last season, Shaq hasn't been very impressed with the young talent that's currently in the league. He recently had a small scuff with Donovan Mitchell, earlier with Rudy Gobert, and not even the extremely talented Doncic was safe from the vile mouth of the Big Diesel. After he hit that shot against the Clippers in Game 4, everyone and their mother were ready to call Doncic a potential GOAT candidate. Shaq, however, wasn't very impressed, saying that the shot isn't anything he hasn't seen countless times before. Shaq added that Doncic is admittedly a good player, but that he still hasn't achieved anything significant in the league and that he wants to see him win more playoff series before he's ready to put him in the conversation with some of the other superstars in the league. That being said, Shaq was totally on board in having Luka in the All-Star game in his first season, so maybe he's not a hater after all. Number 6. Paul Pierce Paul Pierce's career as a basketball analyst hasn't been as impressive as his career in the NBA, but it's still worth hearing what he has to say. When it comes to our boy Luca, the truth is just as big of a fan as the rest of us, and he always has nice things to say about him. However, Paul was made the target of many jokes after he compared Doncic to himself, saying that they both share a similar skill set and they both like to play in a calm, cool, and collected manner. While we're sure that Luca would certainly take that as a compliment and appreciate an NBA great giving him props, I think we can all agree that Luca is by far more talented than Paul, who was a great player without a doubt. But it seems that Luca has already surpassed him in just his third season in the league. Pierce has also said that Luca is the most talented player in the entire league, and that his leap in such a small amount of time is like anything we've seen in recent memory. We can certainly agree with Paul on that one at least. Just like Pippin was the Robin to MJ's Batman, do you think that Kristaps Porzingis can be that guy for Luca, despite his history of serious injuries? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Scotty Pippen As a former teammate and close friend of Michael Jordan, who he won six championships with, it's natural that the topic of Luka already being better on par with someone like Jordan is not something that Scotty Pippen is very impressed with. 
Whenever that topic comes up, he likes to remind folks that Luka needs to win multiple championships before he even considers putting him in the same conversation as Azarenas. This doesn't make Scotty a hater though. In fact, he's actually a big fan of Luka Doncic, and his point of view about him and MJ is very rational. Talking about Doncic and winning titles, Scotty was even a firm believer in the Mavs being title contenders in the early stages of the 1920 season. And while that prediction was a little far-fetched, it's only a matter of time before Luka and his team become major players in the West. Number 4. Dwayne Wade The LeBron James comparisons are certainly a common theme when talking about Luka Doncic, but they're even more relevant when coming from someone who used to play with the King himself and won a couple of chips with him in the process. That someone is D-Wade, aka Flash, who says that Luka's ability to find open shooters in the corner is something that not many players have, and that it closely reminds him of the times he shared the court with King James. If someone knows how good LeBron is, it's certainly Dwayne Wade. And when someone like that compares you to one of the greatest players of all time, it truly must be a wonderful feeling for Doncic. And after the Slovenian posted a monstrous 40-10 performance in an early season game in 2019, D-Wade was in disbelief at how good young players have gotten, reminding everyone that Luka is just 20 years old doing this. I'm sure Wade is very excited to see what Luka can do in the future, just like we all are. Number 3. Tracy McGrady As an NBA analyst, T-Mac gets the chance to share all of his thoughts about things happening in the league. And since Luka is among the most popular subjects right now, and rightfully so, Tracy often gets to speak of the Slovenian superstar. In one instance, T-Mac even called Luka the best point guard in the league. He's also involved him in MVP conversations as a potential candidate for best player in the league. One thing that Tracy had a problem with though is when fans decided to vote Luka ahead of Steph Curry ahead of the 2019 All-Star Game, which Tracy thought was disrespectful to the former two-time MVP. That being said, the former Raptors and Magic Guard saw the potential in Luka even before he was drafted saying the Sun should pick him ahead of DeAndre Ayton, who was the consensus number one pick at the time. Number 2. Dirk Nowitzki If there's one guy who can give us insider info on Luka, it's his former teammate and Dallas legend Dirk Nowitzki. Both Dirk and Luka had the privilege of playing with each other in their last and first season respectively, during which Dirk found out that he could retire in peace knowing that his beloved franchise was in safe hands. The big German quickly embraced the role as a mentor for young Luka, who we said was a lot better than him at the same age. Hearing something like that coming from one of the best power forwards of all time must have been a really nice feeling for Luka. Dirk has also said that ever since the first practice they had together, he knew that Luka was built different, and he was particularly impressed with his ability to read the game and find guys that are open. He also praised Luka's work ethic and how he goes hard during every single practice. Considering that Dirk is still very much involved in running the Mavs franchise, we can expect to hear a lot more from him in the future when it comes to Luka and his progress. Number 1. Chris Paul Chris Paul is one of the most well-respected guys in the league, and his basketball IQ and resume certainly makes him more than qualified to share his opinions on other players. Despite being tough division rivals with him as a player of the Rockets, Thunder, and now the Phoenix Suns, CP3 had no problems in leaving the rivalry aside and spreading some much-deserved praise on the young Mavs superstar. Paul has shared that Luka is one of his favorite players to watch and analyze, and hearing something like that from an 8-time All-Star and one of the best floor generals of all time is definitely a big deal. When asked to share his opinion on Luka getting MVP considerations early on in the 1920 season, Paul thought that it was absolutely deserved, and that his experience in Europe has allowed him to thrive and adjust to the NBA much quicker than a lot of other players at his age. What are your thoughts on Luka Doncic? Do you think he could become as great as the players in the video think he can? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more NBA content.